Hey, 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 Scrappy people. Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a six by eight spread in my Life Crafted album. Actually, it's in my vacation album from last year. These are two photos from my best friend's wedding. One is obviously our beautiful photo and the other one is a selfie that we took. Um, my friend did a guest book instead of a I don't know, instead of a guest book, she did text her marriage advice, and this was what my husband sent her. It was pretty funny. So I'm gonna be using the Coco Daisy Dandelion Wishes collection for this, and let's get started. Who doggy, you guys. This layout took a full hour, which is long for me. It's double what my layouts normally take, and it's only because I go buck wild with the rub-ons. Rub-ons always take me a lifetime because just the act of putting them on the page uh, takes a lot longer than, you know, sticking a sticker down. But oh my gosh, was it worth it? I totally build upon this dandelion flying motif here and just make something really fun and gorgeous. And I really, really love how this page turned out. So I'm doing six by eight pages, but my brain is still focused on life crafted size pages where it's one page over across two you know, sides of the spread. Uh, I could be doing single pages with uh, these six by eight pages, but I'm not. I'm gonna do a full page just cause I love it so much. So I decided that I'm gonna hide this silly photo in like behind the main photo on this tag. So I'm going to um, mat it with this blue just cause I felt like it needed to pop out a little bit from that white tag. And then I'm actually going to sort of tuck it underneath that pretty yellow dandelion. So um, I'm gonna get out my X-Acto knife, which, oh my gosh, you guys, an X-Acto knife, yikes. But I'm just going to loosely use my X-Acto knife to cut around the edges of this um, flower. Just, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, especially since like I don't even pay attention to what it looks like when I'm done. <laughs> I was just going to sort of tuck over this photo. So I'm just making sure that I go up high enough to get it done. And then I'm just gonna tuck it under there and perfect. So this is gonna leave me room to add some title work and a little line of journaling on this page. So this was obviously the text that, a screenshot of the text my husband sent my best friend when she asked for everyone to send her a photo plus marriage advice and it's us being silly. And so he, said always be silly even when or always find time to be silly even when you're supposed to be serious or something along those lines uh which i thought was funny combined with the title are we qualified to give marriage advice um and then i'm going to add some stickers here i didn't like the way that the written on question marks looked with uh the letter stickers but there were no question marks on the letter stickers so instead of going with the question marks, I'm just going to end up putting a sticker over it. But first I want to secure the back of this since there is a little bit of a flap that will catch when I'm sticking it in and out of the pocket. So now I need to find something to put over here and I'm just going to do some dandelion wisps floating in the breeze. Okay, next I'm going to add a label that's just a caption for the photo that says after 20 years or after 19 years because this was last year after 19 years the jury is still out just an amusing little tag that's going to go behind the main photo that is the you know the pretty photo so now i need a pocket to place this in it's obviously larger than my photo so i'm going to need a large photo mat I decide to go with this gorgeous yellow because it's going to offset the blue very nicely of the rest of the layout and also of our outfits. So I'm going to punch a little hole at the top to have that notch and then I'm going to use my red line tape to create a straight edge around the outside for the pocket itself. I'm going to offset it so that it's not covering up too many of those dandelion wisps. Perfect. Now I can start building the rest of my page. I want this to be a little bit offset, the photo to be a little bit offset of that yellow mat, just so that you can see that it's a pocket and it doesn't look like I just have a giant mat for my photo. 
Um, I really wanted to use that quote that says only the wind knows where it will blow our dandelion souls, but it was too big on that journal card and I knew it was on the clear stickers from the memory keeping sticker sheet. So I'm actually going to cut it apart and I'm going to make it look like it's floating in the wind with the dandelion stuff. So I'm going to put it, just tuck it right here. Sorry for my head. I had to make sure it was perfectly aligned. <laughs> And I need to put my photo down because it's gonna go over my photo a little bit, but I couldn't do it one-handed, so I used my scissors to prop up that clear sticker so it didn't stick. Perfect. Okay, just slightly over the, just slightly over the photo. <laughs> and then there is a little butterfly on here too. So I'm just gonna stick it down. There were no other clear butterflies. I'm gonna put the other half of the sticker down here at the bottom because I didn't wanna waste it. And also it just brought in a little bit more greenery and some more of those dandelions to the page, which it needed something down there to ground it. All right, so next I'm going to put down a bunch of butterflies and I'm gonna spare you the process of sorting all these butterflies because it took forever. I just sort of scattered them around the page so that they looked like they were flying in the breeze but also framing us pretty well. I used that big pink dandelion because my husband's shirt is pink and there wasn't enough pink in the actual page to um big pink butterfly. Did I say big pink dandelion? Anyway uh, there wasn't enough pink in the page for to tie in his shirt and I thought that it would be perfect. So now I'm gonna start adding in all of the rub-ons and of course this took a lifetime. I added such a beautiful day and now I'm gonna add in some paint splatters here and it's just a process of building up all of the different layers, all of the different motifs in this sort of you know, wind tunnel that we've got going on here. I also used these dashes for the flying butterflies in some places just because I thought it looked cool. And I'm gonna add one more of those right here to the butterfly on the edge and cut the dandelion off first. And I think that that sort of leads your eye as well. Not, I mean, the actual flow of the embellishments leads your eye pretty well but I think that the black dashes really added a little something to just you know how your eye enters the page and moves across the page you can see how the dashes sort of move with the wind and add this little cloud in here as well just to cap off the top and bottom of the flow so I'm going to put it here and then I'm also going to put it over there on the edge of the dandelion and oh look how pretty this is oh my gosh we are already almost done but I'm going to add a large title to this page. I'm going to use these cardstock letter stickers and it's going to say we clean up nice and it's going to look like it's flowing as well. And normally I would have been like all about that white space and not added that, but I just think it looks really cool. And also I just think it makes a nice impact on a, the side of the page that doesn't have any photos. Um, to create an entire art piece out of this page rather than just almost an unnecessary superfluous side of the layout that's just basically all art. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to do is add in enamel dots floating on the wind with our butterflies and our daddy lions uh, just for a little bling because I liked it. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to do that and then call it good. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy and Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. There's a link in the description box below to Coco Daisy. It is an affiliate link. If you want to start a subscription, I will get a little bit of a kickback for introducing you to Coco Daisy. And I will see you next time. Thank you.